Hey, check. Howdy, howdy. I'll come fly with you. How you doing? Well, right now, I'm wondering, I'm flying the, the 152. Yep. Wondering why there's a ledger of aircraft and numbers next to them. A ledger of aircraft and numbers? In the cockpit. So Kurt Tank must have thought some of these planes were worth a certain amount of points. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? Hold on, let me come look. I have to, I have to Spitfire see Spitfire is worth 11.2 points. 11.2. Oh, that's the reticle. That's the um the range the ranging reticle. Those are the distances or the the mill dots. So how on earth would you use that? I, uh, I you, doesn't make you're, sense. you have a gun sight switch. There's a yeah, I, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah, the world switches between off. airplanes. So there's a, a left and right toggle you can use to uh, toggle between aircraft types. Oh, really? I don't, yeah. I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't had that set up. I don't know how to do that. Uh, let me see if I can find the uh, the uh, right. so you can go fixed and gyro or fixed and gyro. Well, no, no, no. Well, so yeah, so you can put it to gyro and then you can switch aircraft type. Yeah, and, that's what I don't know how to do. Yeah, uh, it's there's a there is a thing for it and I don't know what it is, but hold on, let me let me spawn in and then figure it out. Because I have it set, but I don't really use it. I didn't. What's the setting that you're using? Uh, I haven't changed anything. It's just whatever the default is. So you gyro get or what? You can change between gyro and something else. Oh yeah, you can do fixed sight, oh, gyro, or fixed. I don't know. I programmed it to one of the buttons on my. Uh, throttle. What button is it? Well, I mean, it would be different based no, 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 on. I know, your... but on your controller, what button is it? Then you can go into your uh, controls and tell me what the preset is. Oh, okay. You Hang on. Let me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Hang on. Let me. Uh, well, I'm gonna get shot down. Yeah. Let me go straight. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into controls and figure out. What I did to make this thing work. Uh, ah, okay. I'm looking, it's taking a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's under gun sight, bomb sight, and it's to toggle sight mode. Yes. Oh, yes. and I accidentally erased what the default button is, so I have no idea what it is now. Mode. So I have this thing. It's the I have it on my left and right of my hat switch. Uh, it's It turns that dial underneath the gun sight higher or lower so that you can uh, switch between those for shooting, uh, for ranging... Um, each of those individual aircraft. Oh, I'll have to figure out how to it's do that. It's in the gun sight, bomb sight controls. It's the control. Um, hold on, where is it? It's gun sight, bomb sight controls, and it's the sight drift to right, turn guided weapon right, and sight drift to left, turn guided weapon left. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, I have those on right, on right and left switches. And. Yeah, right and left switches, which allows me to switch the uh, the little turn thing. In different airplanes, uh, it can it also changes between um, what type of aircraft it's it is. It'll tell you a little in the in blue text on the bottom screen. Oh, cool. Okay, all right. It, I'll just, experiment. Not with this one. Oh, okay. This one doesn't give you the airplane types. I think because since they're already written down. It just allows you to increase and decrease the uh, the range on the gun sight with that dial underneath it, the vertical dial. 
Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay, all right. I'll experiment. Okay. Looks yeah, now my phone. current problem with mapping things to my controls is I can't remember what I mapped to what after, uh, you know, on a your couple stick, days. What it, on your stick, where is the button? The one I mapped it to is the top uh, button on the throttle. The top button on the throttle because you have a hot top. Now, I have an X56, yeah, you and the top. whole, there's shitloads of buttons. Yeah, all right. Well, then, shit. I wonder what that is. I'm really curious now. Well, I'll, like I said, I'll have to look some shit up here and, and experiment. Is it in... Oh, okay. I can... Interesting. There's increased sight distance, decreased sight distance. Oh, a toggle sight mode. Yes, that's it. That's it. I have it on forward slash. Really, what I think I'm going to have to do is take a picture of all my controls and then write down oh, what I've assigned no. everything to. Oh, it does. It changes the mill dots in the reticle. Yeah, yeah. When you... Oh, whoa. <laughs> I never, I've never noticed that. I wonder if it changes the mill dot size when I move that. Oh, it does! Oh! Oh, it does! Oh, it does! All right, I just, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I think I'm about to get shot. All right, we learned a lot of stuff. Yeah. A liberator is worth 33 and a half points. No, it's not, it's not points. It's not, it's not points. When I get back to base, I'm gonna tell my score. <laughs> See how I did. It, might, it better be 30. <laughs> Yeah, so it, what I notice now is if I have my uh, sight reticle turned to gyro, it you know introduces those mill dots, the dots around it, the reticle dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you move the sight uh, dial left and right, when you move it to the left, so it's increasing the sight distance, uh, the mill dots expand outwards towards the edge of the sight, and if you go all the way, they go completely off the sight. Well, that that makes perfect sense because yeah. it makes it bigger or smaller depending on what size the aircraft right. is. Right. So essentially, target. what you do is you measure that to the wingspan, I guess, as you're approaching it. Yeah, that's what I would guess. Yeah, like they have it on um, P forty seven and stuff. I have to die. I think. Yep. A interesting revelation that I never knew existed. Well, I'm glad I asked. Thank you. Yeah, that's given me a bunch of shit to do. I'm gonna if when FL gets on, I'm gonna tell him about that because that's I don't know if he, he even knows about that. Oh, I'm sure he does. He probably does. He's never messed with gun sites before. This plane is just stupid fast. What they wanted to do? Yes, yeah. Yes, it it's a great glider. I don't think it would be very maneuverable with these giant wings. Uh, it would be good for high altitude intercepts. So. Yeah, exactly. We definitely have get up and go potential go because of the uh, lift area. And, and probably great turning. Points. Yes, 11.3. There we go. Oh, yeah. A pretty big sight. 
So which is it that changes it uh, to the right point value? Increased site velocity and decreased site velocity? Um, hold on. Or site altitude? No, it's not altitude. It's drift the, left, drift left and right? Uh, it's the drift left and right, yes. It's, is that the middle one? Like, it, it goes, it, it's three down, or uh, it's the fourth one down, and then it's the one underneath that, too. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That would be the also the turn, the, the thing left and right. What the hell? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the, the site lags behind as you turn. The, uh, the gyro site. Because it's, it's going where your bullet trace would go. Oh, this is cool. This changes everything. Oh, I got it working now. Yeah, you awesome. See what I mean? oh, that's cool. Oh, I can, I can, you can compute lead with this. Oh, it even moves the it, little yes, dial thing it, in the it, cockpit. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, you can move it in and out and yeah. make it bigger and smaller. Okay, and when when you're flying, you'll see that it lags in the direction that you're trying. Oh yeah, to it's like like a real su a computer gun sight. Yep. Okay, Mrs. Check just got home, so All right. I'm probably done for the evening. There's a short 15 minutes. Have a good one, Jack. I will. Punch it out. Thank you.
Hello there. Hi, I, I, I just discovered, me and Sheck just discovered something awesome. What? Uh, if you come in here right now. On the server? Yeah, yeah, on the server. And you jump in a TA-152. Uh, you, you, you know, so you have bomb site controls in there, right? Which means you have gun site yeah. controls at the same yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. You know how, on the 152, if you change the gun site mode to gyro, it gives you mill dots that move concentrically. And yeah. if you move your left and right, your slew left and right, uh, you can change the gun sight settings. You can change the gun sight settings. Yeah. But what I didn't realize is it, it since it's gyro, it moves in the direction of your of your it moves opposite the dire direction of your lead, so you can com compute lead with it. Yeah. yeah. I've ne I never knew this until just now. Yeah, the one five two has a lead computing gun sight. It's had it for quite a few months. I didn't know that. I never use it because it never seems to be that accurate for me. Oh. You also need to be in a really specific sort of condition to use it, like a really constant turn that you can yes. set it up for. Right. And the AI doesn't maneuver as uh, nicely as that okay. usually. Why would I need, to, I, I need to find what can, what keys I don't have found anything, so I can add put in the lean uh, the lean controls for the pilot. So I can lean my body left and right. And shit. Pretty unusual, actually. Really? I woke up pretty early, expecting to uh, head over to the college for Monday's classes. Of course. And then I got a notification on my phone saying, uh, college alert system message. Classes have been canceled due to weather. Oh, there you go. You've been here all day, essentially. Yep. Fuck. This morning, seven o'clock tomorrow, and for as many days on as I can think of. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's a job. Mister. Way too close. Are you kidding me? Wow. You should stream, by the way. I am. Oh, stream. Uh, yep. I can't uh, join you. I'm not going to join you on the server right now because I, uh, I inspiration hit and I'm writing music right now. Oh, okay. But what kind of music are you writing? Same I always write. Classically stuck. You know, Classic so. orchestral pieces. Not exactly orchestral. I've only, oh. you know, I've never actually written a completed fully orchestral piece of music. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> if you say so.
was a good shot. Oh yeah. Everyone, every single ship except for a bunch of them. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a good place to save. I got those. No, not that one. I got those two there, and then all the other ones in that cove over there. And the one at the entrance of the channel over there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dead ships. And one sorted. CN. 007 from Chongqing, China. Thank you. Wow. China. I don't think I've ever seen someone well, from China on this one. FL, you have to say it the right way. What? You have to say it the right way. You were. China. You have to say it the right way. Yeah, China. No. What, what, what are you talking about? No, no, what? There's, only a, there's only one way to say China. What? <laughs> Are you really not catching it? No. China. Oh my god. <laughs> China.
I'll try and keep my hands off the uh, stick as long as I can for a moment. Do like GPWS call-outs of this thing. Twenty-three. Twenty. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Smooth as silk. That was pretty smooth. I wonder what this Chinese guy is going to do. Where is he? I don't know. It doesn't seem to have selected an aircraft or a home base yet. I like that this has your number on it. Oh god, are you going to stop in time to avoid crashing? Uh, we'll see. A refueling time. Yeah. Okay. Here goes the artillery. Mm -hmm. Carrier shooting. Pitch whatsoever, so I can stop this forward. 
Bombs are loaded. Guns are loaded. You know what I think? What? I think uh, the triple R refuel speed should be multiplied by the number of engines. Oh. If you have a plane with two engines, it'll refuel twice as fast. Actually, no, it would, it would be slower, actually, if it would be more tank space. If it was a smaller, if it was a single engine airplane, then it would, it would be a faster uh, refuel. Yeah, that's the way it is now. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Because mm. if you had faster, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense. It's not about sense exactly. It's more about convenience. Because yeah. with the big planes, if you fly a big plane, refueling is going to take a ridiculous amount of time. If yeah. you fly a small plane, it's not. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? What? Well, I joined the server. Yeah. I'm the J4M5, and the startup sound for the engine is absolutely ridiculous. It is the most horrifically bass boosted thing I think I've ever heard. <laughs>
like shit. Oh god, I'm telling you there's turbulence. No. I think it should be, should be. I think it was an artifact of the uh, physical body trying to go over, or within the proximity of trying to go over a, uh, a hill or a terrain difference, where it like tries to flip the airplane kind of. See if this guy reads chat. These MG two thirteens are quite something. I gotta be fucking kidding me. You catch shot? Yep. That's unfortunate. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna. You, you have to hear this fucking sound. This is so stupid. Hold on. Let me finish up my last three points. Shot early. Uh, he's, running, he's flying around like he's trying to fly a pattern, but it's not. It's kind of an exaggerated pattern.
Uh-oh. 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 I'm getting too close to that carrier. Ready, ready? Huh? What? Listen to this ridiculous sound. Understandable. Set on course. Let's see this. Yep. Yeah. All right. Ready? I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the uh, right. engine sound. Yeah, it's a jet. It's a turboprop. Oh my. Oh my. You hear the distortion on that? Yeah, I do. It's great. Blech. No, it's good. Because that's what it sounds like when you're behind a fucking propeller on one of those things. Why is my airplane falling apart in midair? What? When did I get fucking get hit? Did I get hit by mile fucking long? Oh, it's a fucking P40.
motherfucker. I'm dead. Oh no. And there goes all my fucking points. Uh, what? Oh, okay, that's fun. Uh oh, that's not fun. I think if you manage to refly before you explode, you can still get your points. I think you're right. Let's see. Yep. 30 40. There you go. Let's go do more. You're watching uh, CN 007's no, camera. I wasn't watching, I just, I just Oh, hey there, Raven. Hey, Raven. What's up? Come join us. You on the server? Yep. Yep. Actually, quick question. Yeah. Uh, one of you is on one of the bases. Uh, check the plane set and see if the P-26 is on the red side and the A, either the A-2N or the A-4N is on the blue side. I think both of us are in planes right now. I'll, I'll just check when I... But I do have a uh, log history, and it says that the A4N is on the blue side. Okay. Sometimes you get the uh, plane types and counts of the home bases in the log. Yep. Let me see. Yep, I have the P-26 on the red side, too, looking at the long. Sweet. I want to test those airplanes against each other. All right. Okay. Uh, which one do you want me to fly? Well, actually, you and Raven can do it. I'm trying to boost my planes here. That's crazy. Any particular reason, or just because you want to fly? Because I want to fly. fly I'm, 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 I'm doing bombing missions right now. That's, that's what I can yeah. really do. You are, and... Uh, what you are flying in the little quick preview showed me what you were streaming is uh, accurate. I probably wouldn't want to go after you. In, what, the HFK? Or H6K, rather? Yeah. Right? yeah, you got some cannons on that one. They're good. Maybe. Okay, maybe a few. What the hell? 
Oh, it's shooting rockets at me. I love UFO. Why? 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 Because why? I saw you. Why can't you just leave well enough alone? I ain't do shit to you. We're on the enemy team. You're bombing I, my boats. What do you expect? I listen. Oh, the A2Ns are here as well. Excellent. Listen, man. I didn't think you were gonna go like, all right, game's on, but whatever. All right, I'm, I want to first try the A2N3 because that one's actually time-wise contemporary to the P26. Yeah. But right. I want to also go for the A4N because I think that one might be the one that'll timeline-wise work on the mission. So. On the red side right now, so I'll land and get a P26, I guess. I have a feeling that the P-26 is just going to out-energy all of the AXN type planes. Really? Possibly. Because they're all biplanes. Yeah, they'll have a better turn to this thing. Are you sure? Because mm. the P-26 is super anemic. I don't know. We'll see. Well, actually, you know what, to be fair, once it gets going, it's got a decent clip. It can get up to a decent clip of speed and maintain energy decent, but it takes a while to get that speed up when you're, you know, taking off. At least that's what I remember of it from that one Spanish Civil War mission. So I guess here's the hoping that CN007 doesn't decide to intervene. He has a pretty old version. Yeah. Oh. I, and he's been killing himself by flying too close to carriers the entire time. So. Although he didn't ah. shoot down a hell diver, so. Hmm. Maybe he's just out of practice and getting back into the swing of things. Very possible. But uh, he unfortunately does not seem to be reading the chat. Oh, why is that? Well... I don't know why, but because uh, he's on an outdated ultra-pack version, I mentioned it in chat and he has not responded, and it's been about five to ten minutes. Uh -huh. So hopefully he doesn't intervene, but uh, if he does, there's probably nothing we can do about it unless I decide to slap him. You'd rather, you'd rather not do that. I would much rather not do that, but... Yeah. Well, if, if I end up having to warn him and he doesn't read the chat, then, well... It's his fault not reading the chat, if that does come to that. And again, part of the reason I want to test this is because the mission I'm planning on eventually making called, I'm, that I'm going to either call Guam 35 Blue or Guam 32 Blue, uh, blue or maybe Guam 32 Red. Uh, basically, it'll be a what if a Pacific War erupted either around the 1932 Shanghai Crisis or... Okay, cool. Of or course maybe, you have a skin for that thing. Or maybe in 1935, uh, kind of along similar lines. And it's going to be P-26s and B-10s flying off of Guam, dealing with a Japanese carrier strike force. That's cool. And so the here, and, and part of the thing, thing I want to test here is, is the A-2N or A-4N an overmatch for the P-26? Because I don't want it to be overpowered. Oh, yeah, because the thing is, if it's massively overpowered to one side, I'm not going to make the mission because it's going to be a hell slog for whoever is unfortunate enough to be flying on one side or the other. Again, my main concern is for the uh, P-26 because, again, from what I'm remembering, it feels like it's a little bit sluggish, so I'm thinking the Japanese biplane might be able to run rings around it, so I just want to confirm that that isn't the case. So, Basically, how many climb rates are you able to get out of that uh, Japanese biplane? Climb rates? Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, I think I top out around 11 meters a second without losing speed. Without losing speed? Yep. Well, the A2N3 can't accomplish that. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting 12 meters a second now. Oh, wow. 
probably it's probably gonna be a fairly stiff fight for this one then. Yep. Seems I was pretty much right. You're probably gonna be able to outturn me really easily, but then I'm gonna probably be able to outclimb you pretty easily. Really not. So then the real question will be uh, how does the A4 end perform? Because that one's a fairly significant leap, at least visually, in terms of mm. you know, larger engine. Oh well, yeah, I'm getting up plane, to 15 but... meters a second now. What, even without uh, without losing speed? Yep. Simber between 14 and 15, around 200 kilometers an hour. Wow. Yep. Yeah, the best I'm able to manage is about n around nine, nine and a half meters a second, without losing too much, without really losing speed. Oh, shit. What? So how many speed do you think you can get to in level flight? Level flight? Leveling out? So I bet your answer is not somewhere in the realm of 360 kilometers an hour. Nope. In fact, it's over 100 kilometers an hour or less so far. I'm not, I haven't stopped accelerating, but I'm slowing down massively around uh, 235. All right. And uh, I am accelerating through 360 at 80% throttle. Oh, I'm at full throttle for this as well, so... If I go to 100% throttle, I'm passing 370 now. Jesus. So I think in the end, they might end up a little bit on the evenly matched side, but I think the P26 is going to have an advantage because of speed and energy. Well, well definitely with this model. Again, we'll have to yeah. check it with the A4N as well, but... Of course. I don't think the A4N can reach 380 kilometers an hour in level flight. Probably not. Well, I had been kind of worried because I had seen the uh, date of introduction on the P26 in 1932, and I had thought to myself, eh, putting it up against the A4N might be a little bit unfair because that one's like a 1935, 1934, 1935 airplane, but eh, maybe not. All right, I think I have eyes on you. All right. Oh, that's your dot. So I think uh, with P26 and A2N, it's mostly going to be a question of how much of a dumbass is the P26 pilot going to be <laughs> with regards to getting into a low-speed turn fight. And as long as I don't get into a low-speed turn fight with you, I'm basically invincible. Going to go ahead and wager that you're probably correct. Fuck, the machine guns are on the cannon button. Who the fuck coded that? <laughs> Thought I had a line on you and ever and and everything too there for that little split second, but I fucking pulled the wrong trigger. Damn it. That's what I get for not fucking flying these airplanes.
notepad instead. And I'm bleeding out. So I think it's going to take a bit longer because we started at a pretty similar altitude, but once I get a significant energy advantage, it's pretty much Jover. As long as I don't fumble it. I got all those kills and then I got shot in the head. Eh, flying over the fleet. Yeah, 36. It wasn't even the fleet. <laughs> no, I'm talking about FL. Oh. I'll be right back. I need to hit the bathroom. Of course, I'm in paper mache, so.
Oh, here's something interesting. What? I can run the engine at 110% steady and not overheat it if I open the uh, apparently non-existent but still existent radiator. Oh, even better. Yeah. So I guess my uh, fears that the P-26 was, would be the party that wouldn't measure up are very much unfounded. I just almost every fight I get into you with you end up devolving into a high altitude climb fight. Yep. It's just because we have pretty much the same fighting style. And when you put the same fighting style when it's this style against itself. Well, this is what happened. We're both, you know, energy pilots. We both like using altitude against the opponent. And you also have an annoying tendency of finding planes that climb better than the ones that I'm flying at the moment. <laughs> That ends up usually meaning I have to try to rely on the maneuverability of whatever airplane I'm flying in lieu of the ability to cl out climb it. Which is, again, not unworkable, but isn't amazing. You actually got a single gracing hit on the wing there, about 600 meters away. Well, I can't lose. I can't lose this fight saying I never hit you once. So. Yep. And I think you might actually have a slight advantage here, because when I oh. dive on you, I get a bit too fast, and then compression hits me, and you can easily outturn me, and I can't hit you. So you actually have to slow down in order to try and have a hope of getting a uh, gun yeah. pollution on me. Oh, oh, what was that? I saw you major leap. You want to go sideways? Yeah. My game froze a second. Uh, you little bastard, you put a couple of holes on my windscreen. What the hell did you do that for? Well, uh, your gracing hit on my wing apparently put holes in my windscreen as well, so. Really? Let me who was without sin. Yes. Yep. This is pretty much exactly how I expect it to go. I'm just doing loops and you have to maneuver out of the way and once I'm out of my attack run, you're at too low of an energy state for maneuvering to be able to pitch up and get me. Yeah. So either I run out of ammo or I eventually pepper you to death. Yeah. Suppose now we see which one comes first. can't see jack shit in this cockpit. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I can't see much in mine either. <laughs> yeah, those early planes tend to be like that. Now, the sad thing is it does vertical loops way better than it does horizontal ones as well, which is the fucked up thing. Plane wants me to play playing your game, but I can't because you're better at it. Because anytime, anytime I've ever done a vertical loop, it feels like it does it way more smoothly than a horizontal one. So this thing wants me to be an energy fighter, but I can't. Which is... irritating.
one of us can pitch down, the other one can't. Oh, you don't have a negative G cutout, do you? Nope. Son of a gun. I'm going to classify that as a disappointing but not surprising. Bang. How much damage have I even done to you? Uh, I have rifle caliber hits all over my uh, airplane, but I don't think any of us actually done any meaningful damage structurally. Yeah. Same here. I think all we've done to each other is put holes in our windshields. Yeah. I mean, you put a few holes in my dashboard too, to be fair, but mm. again, nothing that's actually affecting my ability to fight meaningfully. Well, you flying over your fucking fleet's probably gonna end up doing something to me. You know, actually, both times I've done this so far, both the earlier time and now, have actually been accidental. Oh. Yeah. I mean, being able to run the engine 110% without overheating at all because of the radiator is uh, quite an advantage. I didn't even think the plane would have a radiator, but you never know until we try, I guess. Well... I know that at least in the initial stages, the mod was actually based somewhat off of either an earlier flyable mod for the uh, A5 or the uh, Key 27, so I think that's maybe where the radiator ended up coming from. Understandable. Nobody, just nobody ended up removing it because of its because it was a historical just nobody ever had that high enough on the priority list oh there's a hit still did pretty much nothing of course yeah I think that's the main problem people are going to run into with these things is that their guns just don't do anything I say that, like, I was able to kill B-10s perfectly fine with the, some of the earlier model uh, Japanese fighter. Because, again, I was I was doing some monkeying around with the, uh, with, I think it was the Key 10 and one of the early A-4, one of the early A-model uh, biplanes. Because uh, I was planning on making that uh, Doolittle Raid uh, 1935 mission. It was going to be, you know, it would be like Japanese Key 10s and A-4 uh, fighting off of B-10s flying in a kind of Doolittle Raid-esque mission. And they were able to kill the B-10s just fine, like lighting them on fire was not like nothing, so... That's probably because they were able to get sustained fire at them, whereas we can only shoot at each other in snapshots. True. I need to get away from your full. If I try to fly away from you for too long, you try to end up slotting in on my tail. That is a problem.
I think it's actually easier to see where I am to aim from the gun sight view than from the normal cockpit view. Yeah. One spray. Ah, I saw some holes in your wing on that pass there. I have to fucking withdraw because if I fly any closer, that goddamn carrier is blowing me out of the sky. The difference in energy capabilities between these two things really is everything. Yeah. Again, I'll have time. So times where I were like pitching up after you would be the perfect thing to do, but I just don't have the energy to actually capitalize on. That's actually probably gonna end up being the fatal blow there because you just punctured my fuel tank. And uh, experience with these uh, early war Japanese planes is they uh, leak fuel like a sieve. I'm probably gonna end up running out of fuel. Yeah, so result P26 is far superior to A2N. Pretty much. I mean, the fight ain't over, over, but yeah, my engine just ran out of fuel, so yep, I figured that would be the case. I wonder where Pavuf is at. Been off mic this uh, this whole time. So now for the A four in. Yep. So why don't we switch roles this time? A little more fun. Switch things up. Oh, you want to fly the uh, A4? Yep. Okay. Give you a better handle on how the P-26 fights as well. Yeah, true. Direct experiences that you just uh, hearsay from me. Wonder how many speeds I can even get up to. The last time I did a level flight speed test, I didn't accelerate all the way until I couldn't accelerate anymore. Oh, wait a second. The cockpit instruments are in uh, Japanese. 
Well, again, it was derived from, mm -hmm. I believe, the cockpits originally uh, from the Key 27. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like the speed limit is around 385 kilometers an hour. Maybe 380. Damn, pretty fast then. Yeah. That's a lot speedier than I remember it being. I remember I'd gotten into a fight with uh, against this thing with uh, it was skill it was skill of flying it, and I was uh, in a B uh, five thirty four. And I was running rings around him in it, so I I don't remember the B five thirty four flying that well. So or at least as well as it sounds like this thing does. So I think Skilla just might have been mishandling the P shooter because if you. I think the B-534 actually outclimbs the P-26 and outturns it, but the P-26 can outrun it pretty easily. Oh. And I think it also has better performance at high altitude. That could be. So if Skilla had just ran away and then tried to climb and then only fought you when he had an altitude advantage, you probably would have been screwed. But uh, I'm guessing what happened is he got into a turn fight with you. Yeah, it was at very low altitude as well. Yep. He could have probably ran away if he had uh, noticed when you were around a kilometer away, but yeah. You know, if you get into a turn fight against the B-534, yeah, you're dead. All right, let's see here. A4N, where the hell is it? It'll, it'll be near the bottom of the list. All right. Is All right. The one thing I see the pea shooter doing really badly at is acceleration at really low speeds. Yeah. Yeah, it, it t feels like it takes a while to get off the ground. Yeah, but once it does, <laughs> ooh boy. Yeah, this thing is accelerating past speeds I wasn't getting to until I was getting level flight at higher altitudes with the uh, A2.
you can uh, climb right out of the A4. Let's see, I'm at about 175 kilometers an hour. I'm able to get about 14 meters a second out of it without losing speed. Well, it's a more even fight then. At least in terms of climb rate. Yep. No supercharger on this thing either. It's actually climbing a bit better as I get to higher altitude. I only maintain about 15 meters a second, poked about 16 oh, wow. in some moments. And I think I'm climbing at a higher speed, a higher airspeed than you too. Like yeah, it says you're going about 160, I'm going about 190 in my climb. Oh yeah, I'm accelerating in a 17 meter second climb and I'm pushing the stick forward so it doesn't climb even more. Mm. Oh, my engine finally started overheating. Yeah, this thing climbs like a rocket. Just wants to keep going. Yeah. And I was a little bit worried about that because unfortunately the only Japanese carrier based torpedo planes and bombers that give that would give a Japanese fleet that would be in the mission anything more than just fighter abilities is all like the well, it would be the D ones, except you can't use those, but the other one would be the B four Y. And that one's a nineteen thirty five, nineteen thirty six airplane, so it would only fit the later later mission time which is a tad annoying so with my radiator open I can maintain about 106% power without overheating mm hmm Can accomplish roughly the same. I think I'm about a thousand meters above you. Well, considering how the uh, climb rate you've been able to maintain, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. All right, time for a level flight speed test. Mm. Not the slowest thing ever, but not the fastest either. Just topping out at pushing about 340 true airspeed kilometers a month. Oh, so it's actually a fair bit slower than... Yep. At least a fair bit slower than the uh, potential of the 
326 anyways. Yeah, topping out at about 340. It's still accelerating a little bit, but only just barely. Well, it was, it's definitely the speed improvement I thought it would be over the A2 then, so... Yep. Answers that question. And then there you are. Hello. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're probably better in a turn bite than I am. I don't know. I felt a little sluggish in the turn when I tried turning right after taking off. Maybe I just didn't have enough speed. Negative G in that one. Oh no, you can't. Oh, that's weird. What? If I'm in my gun sight view in my cockpit view, and then I switch to an external view, I can't zoom out. Well, I think we found my even map. Yeah, we do seem about evenly matched. Already, I feel like I have a better handle on being able to get angles on you in this fight. Not perfectly, of course, but... Hit you at all? I'm the first, no. Mm. This thing really likes tip stalling. Yeah, I think you might have a pretty large advantage after all. Yeah, it, 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 I noticed that you've been, uh, can see every single time you try to do negative G maneuver. I think you can outturn me, actually. Really? This thing is really sluggish in a turn and tip stalls at the drop. Yeah, I can't outturn you. Yeah, look, I'm turning as hard as I can without tip stalling you. Outturning me. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. See how in every pass you're able to get the angle on me, and it's kind of hard for me to get an angle on you. I have an opportunity to get one here in a sec. Yeah. Yep. A little bit sluggish coming out of the top of that climb. This thing really only really likes doing horiz uh, vertical turns, does not like doing horizontal ones. This thing is like doing any turns at all. I can feel it wanting to tip stall the, when I, whenever I try any sort of hard turn. Really? There's a hit. Didn't seem to do much though. No. Well, again, as we discussed earlier, it's. Yeah, because we can only get snapshots at each other. Really are hoping for a lucky hit on either the pilot or the, or the fuel tank. Actually, on out turning, I think you might be able to out turn me at high speed, but at low speed, I out turn you. That very much could be. Uh, fuck, I have a fuel tank leak. No, I'm probably going to run out of fuel here in a second. I'll flat get you? No, you did. Oh, really? I didn't think I hit yeah. you. Also, I also have, uh, also have uh, holes in my non-existent cockpit glass over the... Uh... Oh, Jesus, fuck.
Yeah, you're maintaining a pretty stable turn there. Fuck now, we're just wanting the edge of this thing, we just wants to tip stop. I'd be thankful for that if I were you, because I couldn't hit you there because you tipped stall. Usually it's only James who says thank you to being uh, able to tip stall. But... Okay, here we go. Pretty much straight up vertical turn fight. Let's see which plane comes out on top. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think, he, just like I said, you outturn me at a higher speed, I outturn you at a lower speed. Might be the holes in your fuselage, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's having an effect on it. Nah, not enough of an angle. Dang it. Come on. Yeah, the compression to high speed on that thing is a bit of a pain in the ass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I don't think I hit you very much there. No, it was only some glancing hits. Yeah, you're going just a bit too fast for the angle I was shooting at. push comes to shove, you can always just run away and there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it is very, very fast. Yeah, that seems to be the tactic against this thing in the V-26. You can run away and force head-ons. Even though I can shoot you in a head-on, you'll at least be able to almost definitely be able to shoot me. Take it a little bit further away from the ship. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ship's shooting at Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, this thing isn't as drastically t affected by uh, fuel tank leaks as the uh, two was. Yeah, I think it has self-sealing fuel tanks. You've got a small tank leak instead of a large one. Not ah, and carriers to the shooting. Yeah, they're annoyingly relentless little fuckers. Nope, I just heard a hit. Oh. I don't think it did any uh, damage to the airframe, though. Noted. Oh, yeah, I can. I'll climb you. Although, to yeah. be fair, I don't think you were climbing very much. No, I was not. ends up being the strategy, isn't it? Just dip the yep. nose and... You just dip the nose and you're just faster and that's that. 
But unless you try to pull the head on, you can't get in a defensive position from that. You can only get away. Yeah, annoying. And because I'm already flying in your direction and you have to turn around, you have to bleed energy to turn to me and I don't have to bleed energy to turn to you, so that's going to put me at an altitude advantage. So then yeah. this will happen when I try to come down at you like this and then you can just run away again and then it will loop indefinitely and neither of us will be able to kill each other. So that answers my question at the very least, that being how do these planes match up. Yeah. Although I'm going to give you an edge to this one because even though this is going to end up and probably end inconclusively, yeah. you did actually wound me. I do have a I do have a pink filter over my uh, canopy. So if you try to energy fight me or turn fight me, you lose. But if you speed fight me, it's a stalemate. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the energy fighting was going better until I actually took damage. So. Oh, hey there, James. What the yeah. have to check the mod release thread for that because I'm pretty sure the uh, the miscellaneous key that that's supposed to be assigned to is mentioned there. It would be in the uh, heavies thread uh, section in uh, SAS. Jotted down some notes in the voice text channel. I don't think we've tried a straight turn fight between the P26 and the A3N, have we? A3 or A4? A3. Oh, that was the A2 that we were fighting earlier, but. Oh, A2? Yeah. Alright. There, the A3 was the twin seat uh, trainer version of the A2, so nobody's made a mod for that yet. Right. Suppose we could try that. I have a feeling it'll probably be fairly similar to this, where it'll be a case of the. Uh, well, actually, it'll probably be a case of the P26 does it better at high altitudes and, you know, in vertical turns, but. In horizontal turns, I'm going to guess that the A2 probably is better, especially since that'll by necessity be a blue speed affair. Yep. At least that's my prediction. Reverse pitch toggle. How are you? I just uh, make my way through the miscellaneous keys. That's true. But... There should be a numbered miscellaneous. Yeah, auxiliary function one, two, three, four, miscellaneous right, function I'm, one, two, ten. I realize ten. this, but I'm trying to figure out which one actually it, uh, It's MISC, MISC seven. All right. Okay.
Oh, interesting. Okay, this is going to make it really easy to land on the carrier. Well, I'm pretty sure the uh, P-26 didn't have these in real life, but I have flaps. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's because of the, uh, it's the model of the KI-27. Oh. Oh, using those maybe would have been a handy in that fight. Technically, they do work. Yeah, they do, they do actually quite effective. They are actually quite effective. You shouldn't use them because they don't exist. That's all I have to say about that. All right, I will now land that carrier, I'll land the uh, B-36 back on the carrier again. Wait, you'll land the carrier? Indeed. Holy shit. I'll land the carrier, on, land a, the carrier. on a B-36. <laughs> Impressive. All right, now I know that uh, how the uh, reverse pitch works. Put my fuel at like 40 and go for the carrier. Oh, hello, small person. Uh, I also have, I actually now have Oh, to, Jesus, wow. I now have to find that miscellaneous key. Misc 7. Misc 7. Uh, where should I switch it to? There, I switch it to semicolon. Oh, that's true. The machine guns are on the secondary trigger. Oh, that's very stupid. Well, the A2 or the A4? The A4, too. You were just uh, complaining about that earlier with the A2, remember? Yep. I'm guessing you're just pushing both at the same time. Yeah, the joystick trigger is rigged up in my control to fire both the primary and the secondary trigger. So I was just using my joystick trigger as a machine. Are you sure you want to go that slowly in front of me? Sorry, I'm a little bit older than your airplane. I take my time getting from place to place. I'll be like that the huge lifted truck that sits behind like the minivan. Or the the, the mini cooper. Like with the traffic light. If you go into my wing, it'd be fine. Here's the question. How does the P-26 do against a J-7W-3 with uh, homing x uh, it'll uh, not Great. Great. <laughs> uh, well, actually, you know what? Because of how maneuverable it is yeah. relative to, it might honestly do okay, but it'd be, again, it's only in terms of just defensive flying. There would be no way for the P-26 to actually play it back. So you can actually get up to a pretty good speed. If you can fly directly perpendicular to the missile 400 kilometers now, it can't hit you. Oh, uh, do you realize now why I got all the points? Oh yeah, just bombing stuff. No, what were we well, gonna no. do? A2 you in and get direct Why fight? I got all the points? Why I did that? What do you mean? Do you okay? I got all those points not because I wanted just to get points, but because I got them for a reason. Oh, it's for a buffer the zone. On the yeah, because yeah, you're gonna uh, lose a lot of points. You're figuring. Yep, it's a buffer zone. <laughs> That goddamn carrier. I, I had been flying the A2N3. How uh, oh, uh, is there a difference? Uh, uh, oh, the upper really wing looks a bit bigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is the American carrier? Alright, 
to in the uh, frequency. There should be one in C4. Okay. Maybe one in uh, E4. Okay, got it. Actually, 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 no, it doesn't look like it's, it's in E4. It'd probably be in C4. You know what the A2N needs? What? What? Uh, giant rows of 30 millimeter gun pods in their wing. <laughs> Does it now? You know, the crazy thing is, there is realistically less than 15 years of uh, aeronautical progress between the uh, P26 and the uh, B36. Yeah. Isn't that kind of nutty? This was the pinnacle of modern aviation, and the B36 was just one of many things that was considered cutting edge at the time when that yep. thing came out. Good God. Uh, this thing can't climb for shit. Yeah. Popping out about nine meters a second. Again, which is prop which is part of the reason why I was uh, less than entirely enthusiastic when I was hearing you uh, talking about how fast you were climbing and how uh, yeah. fast you were flying. Like, uh, shit. Hi, Raven. I'm getting, well, I'm getting out climbed by a strategic bomber right now, so. Well, it is a pretty late strategic bomber compared to uh, when you're planning to make. I wonder, I wonder what would happen if I threw my propellers in the reverse pitch right now. I'm gonna level off to 600 meters. I just, I just threw them all into the reverse pitch. Oh my god, this thing just, it just stops. Oh, uh, uh put some time on, please. Thousand minutes! We can just stop it whenever we want. We don't have to worry about it stopping at all. Just gotta remember to actually stop it otherwise. And right, people will come right. on in at a pretty interesting time. In like a couple hours. Or days. <laughs> a thousand minutes is approximately 16 hours. 16 and two thirds hours. Oh boy, blistering speed of 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, again, reasons why I wasn't especially enthusiastic when I heard you talk about <laughs> 300 and level flights. Just, well, fuck. Yeah, 370. Just like, yep, this isn't gonna go well. This is not gonna be very chungus with some 100. Well, actually, the thing is, if we're gonna do the whole, if we're gonna do the whole uh, horizontal turn fight thing, it actually might end up working on your favor. Yep. Fair. So I can probably maintain a much tighter turn at a much lower speed than the P26 in this thing. I also decided to cheat and use the flaps. <laughs> and maybe things might work out in my favor. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Invisa flaps on the P26. Yeah. yeah, flaps don't actually exist, but they're there because the person who made the mod based on the P27 and didn't bother to remove them from the uh, base code of the aircraft. That is true. Oh uh, yes. I love when people make mods and just leave random shit in there that they could have fixed in like five seconds. Isn't that just the best? Oh, yeah. Like all you want to know what they had to do to fix that? You want to know what they had to do to fix that? What? Nothing. Change a single number from one to zero in the flight model. Boom, really? Done. Yes. That's all they had oh, to do. Yeah. Literally a single number in a single file would have fixed. So, so the solution then to actually solve that is just go in and change that, make that change to the flight model for the P26 then. Yes. Theoretically, you could fix that in Ultra Pack then. Literal five second fix. Go into the modding files, copy the flight model, change a single number, compile it, put it in, done. One number, one single fucking number. Well, I guess you can forward that with Mike and see if he's willing to put that into whatever next hot fix might come out. Fear me and my speed. 208 kilometers an hour. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> well, I guess I'm glad I caught this now. Oh, so close. Damn oh, it. so close. Motherfucker. Shit. I saw oh, I that. Had it. Oh my god. I'm do it again. I think you have to uh, put it in reverse about a tenth to a tw maybe uh, two tenths of a second before you land. Yeah, for my real touch. 
like how I leave just, just like here. resting on the interior. Floor. I am yeah. not climbing. That is your domain, and I'm gonna stay down here where I can turn really tight. I think the American carriers is on the other end, and I think that's the one I need to use. Oh. Uh. Because it's got a lot. It's got a longer deck behind the tower. Well, you can redo a horizontal turn fight, so I'll come down and take my lumps. What's uh, what's your location, gentlemen? I have no ammo, so. I'm just gonna come uh, Charlie down. three. Oh, okay. I don't know, you might win this. Uh, I was winning it right until I raised my combat flaps. And then you stopped winning. And immediately tip stalled. Oh no, that's a problem. That was an issue. Yeah. That's there not we go. That mechanic can fix. Oh fuck. Uh, yeah. Fuck shit. Uh oh. I was not able to uh, correct that in time. I don't think I hit you, so I'm not gonna need credit for that. That's true. Not quite. You inadvertently killed I him. I maneuver killed him without hits, so I won't get any credit. Yeah, it, I crashed, because I... The thing is, when I raised my combat flaps, it tip-stalled, oh, and... Didn't see your, uh, I didn't see your message of death pop. Yeah, that's because he reflew before the plane uh, got deleted by going too low in the water. I'll give it time, I'll... We'll get to a proper fight I'm not, here. I'm not saying, oh... The cheating yourself out of smacking into the ocean. Well, he oh, did I... smack into the ocean. He just reflew before he sunk low enough that his oh, plane got deleted. Did actually hit it. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Ignore oh, no. Uh... No. No. The thing is, I, c I wouldn't have been able to refly at that point, anyways, because it would have only I would have only had the option to disconnect. Oh, that's right. I'm st I would still be flying in the air. Mm. You can only refly like that if you if you either, either you're dead or uh, your plane is crashed. Yeah. What happened? I'm trying- I was going to, uh, pull an epic gamer prank by flying near an H8K, but I'm too slow, it's just gonna fly away from me. Alright, I'm on the way back. Alright. We'll go to Crescent Island. They'll meet you there. I remember the, uh... the handiest. I think it works that way with airplanes too, but Just I haven't bothered actually handy. confirming that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Please don't. <laughs> oh no. combat flaps and go into that turn fight, I have a decent chance of winning. Yeah. I kind of want to do that. Sure. On the other hand, it's not fair, because this thing doesn't actually have combat flaps and I'm taking advantage of a... Fair schmear, it's in the game. Yeah. Nobody ever thought about that when flying the J7W3, so... <laughs> it, it exists, therefore you must use combat flaps. Right. Oh, the gun sight on this thing is all off. It's all J, yes. A lot of those are early... Early, like 30s airplanes kind of are, unfortunately. Yeah, they have a lot of them kind of need a bit of a tune-up. There's a lot of them that kind of need a bit of a tune-up. I assume that's the end of the I believe so. I can't 
imagine it being anything else. I've also started work on uh, Falcon Tog. Which one was that again? The HU-100 Falkwolf 187. Oh, yes! yes. I've heard that name before. Well, that will be its name. Right. See you. No, I'm not stupid enough to fly, fight right over the middle of that bay. Well, it looks like the carrier's pretty good. If I do do it, I am that much better. Because I've made it in, I made it harder for myself. Fucking Christ, this thing with combat flaps. Oh yeah, that's quite something. Oh yeah, you're out turning me easily. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, I'm not, he dead. Yep, I'm dead. Crash right into the ocean. Yeah, if you have combat flaps, I have no chance at all. <laughs> that was quite something. Alright, here we yeah, go. Just, I, was, I was just noticing how quickly I was pulling the nose around, so it's like, oh god. It's gotta be a terrifying visual, looking up and just seeing the nose of the airplane just sweeping around on you as you're struggling to haul it around. It's like, oh Christ, no. Well, that answers those questions then, so thank you for that. My curiosity has been satisfied. Right, as your curiosity of seeing me attempt this. I am very curious to see you attempt this. <laughs> I like that this is the spec. Well, I mean, you're doing what you're doing. Spectacle can really only arrive from that. You know what I'd like to see? P26 versus KI-109. Die, you fucker! Uh, nope. It's a very interesting uh, conceptual matchup. Oh, he's, oh, it's because he's turning. That's why. Oh, no. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Oh, well. Keep going until I actually do it. things actually work. Oh, they work. They work, absolutely. They're not as powerful as I wish they would be. The reverse pitch. But you can back it up, though? It does back up, yes. Slowly. You're not going to take off backwards in this thing. You know what plane actually might be slightly more balanced with homing X4s? It's the KI-109. Oh. The 109, the big thing with the fucking cannon? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can see how you would think that. Nah, it'd still be bullshit because the homing X4s are just bullshit. Yeah. You know what the homing X4s need? Just is to have away. a slightly nerfed version of the K5M radar lock system. Yes. Like, yes, yes have them be a less effective version of that. That would actually make them almost balanced. Yeah. Yes. Even if, if and then put them on the KI-109, and then they're perfect. 
Yeah, honestly, if you could go into, if you could somehow go and get into the code and adjust those missiles that way, they actually wouldn't be utter bullshit to have to deal with then. And you know what? That's what I'll do. I will do that tonight. FL. See if I can get it working. What? Can I ask you to put only one X4 on the one and hang it off of the big fucking gun? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. That's no. just too goofy. Damn it. Come on, do it for the memes. It was, it was worth a try, I guess. I do want to see that, though. It would be really funny. Mount one on either side of it and one underneath it to so get three. The most central elements. Fuck the carrier. So the question is, how many ammunitions does this thing have? Uh, main cannon. Yes. Yeah. Probably not that many. Okay. Maybe. Probably not a lot. Guess probably not a lot. Oh, you know what? I think you're faster than me. Really? How? Wait, what? I'm a 1932 fighter plane. How am I oh, faster than you? Okay. I got to... Never mind. Yeah. For a second, I thought, yeah, you can get up to about 440 in this thing, and I wasn't accelerating very much, but yeah. In the end, yeah, I think I am faster. Where, where are you? Not by very hope much. So. But certainly friggin' hope so. All right, FL, let's dance. I'm watching this. I have my airplane on autopilot. Oh, you basically have to fly this thing like it's a 262. Yes. Yep. Is that him below and behind you? FL? Most likely. That's him, yep. Okay. See, I'm more interested in you actually being able to hit him. Because I am not a large target. No, and that's a very that big, big fuck-off, ungainly gun. However, you can turn, like, way inside of your dial. Yep. I just say no thank you, not today. Well, remember, Raven, don't get too close, because he has a 20 mil rear, rear gun, so... That was only a 50 cal. Um, no. I could have sworn it was only a 12.7 on the uh, mm -hmm. P67. Oh. I could have, I, I could have sworn it was. I probably thought it was a 20. In, granted, a 12.7 is still really dangerous to this thing. So, okay, yes, steering clear of his uh, rear gunner probably isn't a terrible idea. Oh, I've, I've come across the carrier on that. Let's switch back. Yeah, I'm feel, it seems to me. Like, I'm going to have to hit the reverse pitch, like, a full two seconds before I even touch the pitch. It might be. Because it, it just does not spool up fast. I'm going to go to full power here and put my reverse pitch on, and it does not really drop speed. At least not all that fast. How close was that? Uh, did you see a tracer? Probably, I did see a tracer. It, you're probably about uh, three airplane widths away from me. Oh boy. Closer than I expected, actually. Here's the temptation because the thing is, the only way I'm actually going to get shots at you is if I engage in these head ons, but it's the easiest shot you're going to get against me. Though part of me really doesn't want to take those, part of me also knows it's the only way I'm going to get hits on you. Uh-oh. Fuck!
almost had it too. I put I actually hit reverse pitch a little too early. Ooh, I think you hit my engine. Oh. Yeah, one engine's running at decreased RPMs. Surprised my gunner hasn't done anything to you yet. Nah, I'm taking some hits. Nothing serious, but. Hits nonetheless. Yep, holes in my uh, canopy. Including uh, ones in the glass that doesn't exist over my head. Oh, interesting. Yep. The uh, super secret grass. Yeah. Huh. I want to make this work so bad. short of like turning the engine off. Oh, man. oh wow, it was close. Yeah, well. I think I need more distance for these head-ons. No, I think you need less. You should definitely turn in towards me a lot sooner. <laughs> mm. Careful the trick. Uh, a trick for me? I, I have no idea. That's, that's my least favorite thing to do. Now that, that's totally bullshit. Hey, dear folks, it's his least favorite thing. It's most least his favorite. I'm going to thank you. <laughs> I nab you once with this cannon, James. I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, he did. Absolutely have. He, he did once. I can't remember what he was flying, but yeah, I think it was some actually. shitty little biplane or something. Yeah, it probably yeah. was. Yeah. But yeah, there's a screenshot oh. of it in your uh, clown's oh. previous thread. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, my number one engine is not very happy. Oh. Trust myself to manual fire a gun at that distance. What I need is an energy advantage. Problem is, I climbed just well enough that getting one of those is going to be difficult. Well, I just remembered something. First of all, I think I'm going to go triple R my engine, because otherwise it's, it's going to be pretty pointless. But one of us has a supercharger. Oh yeah, that's right. And then... Uh, I'll be right back myself. Alright. Right. You're my sole uh, viewer, I guess. That was not what I wanted.
see if a uh, E26 can survive a suicidal head on with an H8K. She hit something. At least I thought I had. Oh, if I can just see, barely see a little uh, fuel leak streaming from it. I think I am just barely fast enough to catch up with it again. Congratulations, yes! man! Holy shit! That is something else. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, gonna get some right screenshots. I'm gonna get some screenshots of that. Yep, do it. Go for it. Look at that thing! Look at it! <laughs> well fucking done. Well fucking done. God, that was like an exercise in just insanity. Uh, I, you pulled it off. I pulled did. Up, Wow! Oh, that is yep. going in the clown screen's thread, no doubt. Absolutely, it is. Very good job. Very, very good job. Wow, I, I don't want to move now. Very good job, the quick. best job. It is the best job. I don't, I've never seen anyone else do this. God, that's cool. I'm so glad I have the recording to prove I did it. Fears for my my potential Guam mission have gone from the P-26 is going to get clowned on by the Nakajima fighters to the Nakajima fighters are going to get clowned on by the P-26. Because again, with P-26s using combat flaps, that's actually a legitimate concern. Because yeah. I'm, I'm actually fairly certain in low altitude turning fights, which are probably the most likely ones to occur during a running of that mission, if uh, P-26 pilots are you know, keeping their speed up relatively, and uh, popping combat flaps, they're basically unkillable. That's fun. As long, as long as they don't make massive, massive stupid mistakes. Of course, right. Like, the only plane that can actually maybe be a threat is the A4N. That's if the uh, pilot solely makes use of the uh, climb rate on that thing, which, to be fair, is absolutely absurd. Yeah. Fair 
pretty much a different result from what I was expecting, but... <laughs> Makes me glad I never made my, uh, or tried making my Shanghai 1932 mission, because that would have been the A1N against this thing. Oh my god. Which, uh, that wouldn't have gone too well, would yeah. it? Yeah. Because the thing is, we don't have the proper models of the airplane that the A1N actually fought over, uh, China in 1932. And one of them was a rough monoplane, a Junkers monoplane that looked, in a, if you really squint at it kind of way, similar enough to the P-26 for me to be like, eh, I could, I could put it in as a visual stand-in. But yeah, with this performance, fuck no. Absolutely not. A1 ended to get just utterly destroyed. Yep. They could barely make 200 kilometers an hour in a level flight. Hmm. Actually, no, it's a little bit better than that, but... In, in my in the uh, channel 35 mission, I mean you can only do head-on passes against Potez 540s. So, and, it, and the minute you make those head-on passes, you lose it so much speed that you just can't actually keep up with them. Yeah, that's a pain. That's the one real issue I have with a lot of the airplane sets that are available oh, no. for Rial 2 is that they aren't complete. Like a lot of airplanes, you'll have the option. Like you'll have certain airplanes for certain. Uh, Oh, what happened? Uh, apparently this thing really likes to nose over on the ground, and, uh... Oh, that explains, what, that explains why I got an enemy aircraft destroyed when you, uh, when you left. Corum. Or, sorry, Scrub from Corum. So, in a very tactical sense, a P-26 just shot down a Q-109. That's kind of cool. Again, it kind of counts in only the... If you're gonna be a nerd about it, sort of way, but right, it's enough of a moral victory for me. I like in my contract. yeah, it wasn't counted by FBDJ either. Really? Nope. There was no kill message in the chat. You just got the points for it. Yep, I just got the points for it. Yep. Yep. I think my earlier kill on you when you crashed into the water after I shot you up in the uh, you were flying the A two and I was flying the P twenty six. I think yep. I think I don't think uh, FBDJ counted that either because you. Uh, Reflew re your plane before it sunk for far enough into the water to get uh, destroyed. Yeah. Yep, I don't want to go there. I look through all these airplanes and think to myself, God, I need to eventually get my, uh, get all the skins I have in bat over and convert it to multiplayer compatible, uh, format. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I am going to start the modding stream for tonight. Taking a look at the uh, homing X4, see if I can put the lock-on system for the K5M on it. Okay. Again, that is a definitely a change I would advocate for, because the homing... Like, that is actually a almost realistic one for a potential future development of the X4. Like, I could see them maybe trying to make something like that work. Uh, uh, FL? What? I got your picture in voice text. What picture? I got the picture. Oh, yeah. I already took my own screenshot. I know you did, but... I was being artistic. <laughs> Artists never prosper. Unless sometimes they do. I got a cool shot of it. Uh, two cool now, I have a question for you, uh, uh, James. Yeah. Depth charges, how do they work in the, with the uh, context of the game? Oh, in the game? Uh, they're just bombs. Like do they, are they more effective against those little periscopes that are an absolute bastard to get at? Uh, I've seen no evidence that they do any more damage than a regular bomb. The uh, the two images I just posted in uh, voice text are from like perspective of crew on carrier. Of just the massive fucking airplane. I think I'm going to 
end that recording there.